This is a vintage um, navy uniform. They call it a Cracker Jack uniform. Um, you can see it's got the stars and stripes. We've had these for a while. We have a bunch of them. We find them a, a lot, but we got a trunk a couple of years ago that had, I don't know, like eight of them. And this one sold for 50 bucks. This is a welded steel pot rack. I think we bought it because we were thinking we might use it for one of our houses, uh, but we didn't end up using it. It's got this crazy hook thing that you can hang it somewhere. I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's definitely made out of metal, but it sold for $125, which is awesome. These come from our military liquidation days. We still have a couple bins of uh, Camelback carriers. They don't have the bladders in them, but you can buy replacement bladders really easily. They're three liters, but these are awesome. They last forever. And this set of three sold for 30 bucks. This is a set of four um, Houston Livestock and Rodeo Show from 1984. Um, McDonald's brand glasses. They have different images on each side on all four of them. And the funny thing is Jay's from Houston and he's like, I used to go to those. Maybe that's him. Um, so he knew that someone would want these. And someone in Texas bought them for 40 bucks. Okay, this is a gooseneck lamp, vintage, mid-century, uh, quite normal. And it sold on sale for $31. Hey, I'm in the room with you. What are you doing? I am organizing pants. Oh my god. It's a lot of pants. These are a pair of red faux tortoise shell like hipster glasses the brand is brooks um they are prescription so someone would have to change the lenses and they sold for 36.99 these are a pair of women's justin cowboy boots or cowgirl boots rather um we had them up i think for 79 dollars but we took a best offer of 60. this is the vintage like handmade backpack carrier thing so you put it on your back there um, it's got this wood frame and I guess you would strap something to these you would like I'm assuming it's a backpack there must have been something that went with this and it was a backpack but what's cool is I sold this for hundred and twenty five dollars on Bonanza this is what is called a jelly jar um, for a sconce light, like a porch light. Um, I always see these, and people buy them because they'll have that kind of sconce light outside, but they'll need a replacement or they'll want a cooler replacement. And this one sold for $27. This is two yards of raw silk houndstooth pattern. Um, I did a burn test, so I know it's really raw silk and it sold for 40 bucks these are a pair of new never worn uh women's walking shoes step abouts um they're in nice shape and they sold for 25 bucks this is a beautiful i believe it's alabaster ashtray i love the color um, there's a bit of a chip on one edge but if you kind of turn it that way you can't really see it it sold on sale for $31.50. This is a vintage True Temper brand mallet. There's a little bit of uh, rust, but still a very heavy mallet, solid wood handle. And we sold it for a best offer of $17. This is the famous amputee sandal. It is the only a right foot. It is Nao brand, which is a very good brand, but we can only find one. So we're selling it as an amputee sandal, someone who only has one foot, the right foot. Now, we sold these once before, and it was a big deal, and someone returned them, or returned it, because they did not read the listing. <laughs> but the listing is very clear, so hopefully this person will not return it. And it sold for 25 bucks. New in the package, vintage Kmart brand men's dress shirt, poly cotton blend. It's got the size there. Don't know if someone's buying this just as a display or to wear it, 
but it did sell for $36.99. So this is an electronic white noise machine. Um, I definitely love these. We have one at home, um, although it's analog, it's like a little fan, but it is shaped like this. Um, and these are the different sounds. I have batteries in here to test it. It's a heartbeat. The ocean, which is more like just regular white noise. Cool. Sold for 30 bucks. This is a set of fireplace bellows made out of wood and faux leather, but it's still sold for 40 bucks. Brand new embroidered Coors Light hat, just a regular cotton hat, never worn. We have six of these, I'm not sure why, uh, but we do, and it's sold for $17. This is a denim conductor's hat, the brand is Roundhouse. Uh, it's new, never used, and let's see, it is made in the USA, which is rare. Very cool, sold for $30 on Bonanza. This is a beautiful set of six porcelain napkin rings. They're very delicate. Um, there's a logo on the bottom that I had to research, so you can see there. It says AK with a little crown. That one's a little bit fuzzy. Um, and it stands for Albeth and Kaiser, which is a porcelain maker. Uh, I do believe they are German. And these sold on sale for $42. Hermes, fancy French soap, orange, smells great, never used. I had three of these. They sold for $25 each. This is the last one. $25. Bucks. This is a super 80s women's hat. It's got this cool gold band, and it is wool. Bowman. 100% wool felt. Tina Lux. Um, I've had this for a while, and I took an offer of $20. Bucks. These are a pair of J. Crew suede leather um, with wood sole clogs. Um, size 40, they're quite nice, and they sold for $36.99. Another vintage army duffel. It's got a bunch of holes in it. It's worn out. And it again sold to my fashion designer relative person in Los Angeles. Um, it sold right away, $36.99. This is a beautiful vintage wearing clover leaf shape blender top. The blades inside looks like it's never been used. Totally gorgeous. Sturdy, will last forever. 50 bucks. This is a Coleman uh, camping stove and actually this is just the part that's included. This is something you buy at like a camping store. And I took a best offer of $32. This is a cool uniform shirt with the patch that says Jed. Fairfax County DVS. I don't know what DVS is, but it still looks cool. Sold for 20 bucks. This is a vintage Sears brand multimeter in the original box for testing electric items. And it sold for 30 bucks. These are a pair of vintage Anchor Hawking um, milk glass bowls with a little black stripe. I think they're so cute, and they sold for $31. Vintage framed portrait of a sailor. I listed this yesterday, and it sold within a couple hours for $80. This is a book, a self-published book, Bridge, as it seems to me, uh, Basic Bridge. I uh, published this yesterday, or I posted it yesterday, and it sold within a couple hours for Thirty dollars.